What's up, YouTube? So today I'm going to teach you one of my new tribal female trap choreographies. I hope you like it. The song is called The Long Kiss Goodnight by Tribal Female Trap. So you can go and Google that, look that up on Spotify, iTunes, wherever you like. <laughs> and before we get started, you have to warm up first, please. Warm up and hit like and subscribe, and then we can dance together, okay? All right, first things first. So I need to teach you the legs. So the legs are going to be bend this leg, then straighten both legs. Bend this leg and straighten. What happens is when I bend, the other leg is really straight and I'm popping my booty out to the back. So this movement I'm about to teach you is signature to travel from the trap. It's called, the, I nickname it the Diva Kiss the Ring because basically this, and you say, kiss my ring, kiss it, kiss it now, kiss it now. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna add that on top, all right? So first of all, we're just gonna go, bend, straighten this leg, up, straighten the legs, and then swap. Bend, straighten the legs, and bend, straighten the legs. The arm's gonna go forwards, around the corner, straighten the legs, forwards, around the corner, straighten the legs, forwards, around the corner, straighten the legs. Okay, let's put it together. So I'm gonna bend this knee, and I'm gonna go forwards, around the corner, straighten the legs, change. Forwards, kiss the ring, around the corner, and I'm nice and tall, forwards, kiss it, <laughs> round. Next part, we're gonna step out. How you transition to this side is up to you. What I like to do is a bit of a, bit of a chest circle to take me over. So my chest circle's going side up, side down. So I should let you know that this is, travel from a trap is my style tribal fusion, okay? So if you're into tribal fusion or you're not sure about it, this is a good example of my style, okay? So your chest circle would go, side up, side down. I don't really mind how you do it, but also when I shift, I come up to tiptoes, so you see that, I come up to tiptoes, gives me a little bit more flavor to transition, and then I need to pivot so that this leg, my weight is on this, my back leg, this is my back leg, and my front leg is on tiptoe. Okay, so we go from the top. Five, six, seven, it goes. Bend this leg, one and two. It's four counts each. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can always press rewind if you haven't if you haven't quite got it yet. You want to go over it. Otherwise, I'm going to carry on. So the next part is um, an undulation. One, my weight's on the back leg. One, two accents. And now my weight comes into this leg. And I push my hip. I scoop hip. So I go one, two, and three, and four. Okay. So just do the body. One, two, and hip, four. Okay, the hands. <laughs> this, so I'm currently teaching this in one of my classes this term, travel from a top choreography in the class, in the Zoom classes. And so everyone gets really upset about the arms because <laughs> they're really confusing. So I'll give it to you and then you can choose to put the arms in or arms or, or not, right? So what you want to do is baby finger, next finger, next finger, next finger. Baby finger, next finger, next finger, next finger. I just love these gloves, do you love them? Anyway, baby finger, next finger, next finger, next finger. Okay, so as I do that, I'm gonna do one and graze my chest, stab the hands outwards and drop the chest. Okay, so it's one and two. And I'm gonna reverse the hands. I'm gonna come in, roll in, wrists, elbows down. And then I kind of do a little flick at the end. So it goes one and two. Bring it back in the way it came. Three and four. Well, actually, this will be three and four. So it'll be one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Okay, with the body. <laughs> with the body. It's going to go like this, YouTube. Okay, it's going to go like this. One and two and three and four. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And you can say it as undulation, chest drop, hip roll, weight shift. Undulation, chest drop, hip roll, weight shift. Undulation, chest drop, hip roll, weight shift. All right, let's try it. If it gets too confusing, just leave the hands out, come back to them another day. Ready, five, six, seven, and one and two and three and four. One and two 
and three and four. So speed will be one and two and three and four. Next part, so we're gonna do a hip circle because your weight lands on this leg. Your hip circle is gonna go side, front, come onto my tiptoes, side, back, and as I do the back, I'm gonna do a massive drop. Watch once first, I'm gonna go around, go around the back. So that's where your circle starts, finishes where it starts, right? So I go from here, I go one, two, and three, and four. It should be five, six, seven, eight, I think. All right, now option two is with the head. If you've never learned head, maybe today's gonna be too much. So you can just do one, and two, and three, and four. Otherwise, you're putting in the head. I'm gonna do the hand. My hand matches, my hand matches my body. You see that for me. One, two, and three, and four. So my hand goes the same way as my circle, basically. Watch once, I'll show you with the head, and then you can decide what version you'd like to do, okay? So it would be one, two, three, four. <laughs> if you're doing it with the hands, yeah? So that's one, two, three, hair flick. All right, let's do one, one more time from here, see so understand how it goes together. And then we'll go from the top, you can always press your wine, stop, stop, figure it out, okay? Six, seven, and one, and two, and three, and four. Here we go, place this hand on your hip. We're gonna go five, and six, and seven, and eight. Let's count eight. Okay, I'll do it one more time for you. Then you can press pause, whatever you want, okay? Five, six, to speed. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Yes? Let me go over your easier option if you want to do the easier option. One and two. Okay, no hands for the easier option, yeah? One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. So a lot of um, direction changes, which is why it's, probably, it's like this a little bit. It's good for your brain. I always say in my classes, if you're not challenged, you're not learning, I'm not doing my job. <laughs> so you should always be challenged in my classes, even on YouTube, <laughs> okay? So let's go from the top. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Milk it, stylize it in your own way. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then guess what? You do it on the other side. Same combination, so I just do the body. So my weight's on this leg, so as I do my undulation, I have to shift it to this leg. So it's gonna go one and two, and hit three and four, hit five, six, seven, this time eight. Okay, I'll do it again. Five, six, just the body, and one and two, and push it back, weight on this leg, three and four. Hip circle, side, front, side, back, side, together. Okay? Now, with the hands, if you wish, if they're the same hands. So it would go, baby finger, next finger, next finger. One and two, and three and four. Hold, and hand mimics the same direction as the circle, five and six. Arm, hip, head, blah, blah, blah. hand, head, or body, or whatever you want. <laughs> that made no sense. Let's talk about it again. In the hip circle, hands, no hands, head, no head, whatever you want, okay? Okay, six, seven, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. You've got to bring this leg in on eight, okay? Let's go from the top up to there. If you're not sure, hit pause. Go over little segments over and over again. You don't have to do it all the way through, okay? Six, seven, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven. Bend the leg, bend, and straighten. And six, seven, eight, one, and two, roll three, and four, hip circle, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. <laughs> okay, chances are, that's like this, and I promise you, <laughs> even in my classes on Zoom, we were like, oh my God, oh my God, which way does the head go? Which way does the hip go? Which foot, which leg? Okay, it's normal. 
as I said, I like you to be challenged. If you want to learn properly, come to my school. I break all of these movements down. These movements are super stylized, man. They're like really stylized. So in my school, whether it's on Zoom or in person or in online classes, subscriptions, all of these movements are really broken down into their most like minutest detail. And we take a long time to really absorb it and digest it and figure out exactly where to be in the body so we all look amazing and you get dogged in your own way. This is just a choreography for YouTube. So you have a go at it, have some fun. Taste out my style. <laughs> all right, so anyway, you finish there, you bring it in. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna step forward on this leg, okay? We're gonna go on diagonals. I call this the cute butt, because you're looking at your butt and you're saying how cute it is, okay? So first of all, I want you just to do is just push into this hip, straighten this leg, push into this hip and straighten this leg. And I always look at your booty, look at it, yeah, and then look at it, and then swap the hands, look at it. So I'm pushing up my booty and I'm trying to look at it. And you say, I love my booty, <laughs> I love my booty, I love my booty. I love my booty. However, you are walking. So you're gonna step forward on this leg to a diagonal. And the weight is actually on this leg, right? Even though I'm stepping forward on this leg, the weight is on this leg. I come up to tiptoe and I maneuver my hip like a winding river from the back to the front. And I look at my booty and I say, yeah. <laughs> and then I touch and then I do the same thing. And as I step over, swap my hands. I step, my weight is still on my back leg. Put my heel down, but my weight is still on my back leg. Put on tiptoe on my back leg. And then I scoop my hip like a winding river. I look at it. And then I step in front. Okay, so let's go again. Five, six, seven. I go. Push off of the back hip, winding with the hip. Push off the back hip, winding with the hip. And then go. Okay? So five, six, seven, eight. One and two. And three and four. And now option one, just stay here. Um, we're gonna cut some shapes of our body basically. So you're gonna do as you step, you're gonna do a tuck, tuck, pelvic tuck, tuck and thrust. It's like, like a part of the pelvic roll. I tuck, thrust forwards, drop and sink into my knees, cut some shapes to go back. How you do that is really up to you. It's more of a vibe, more of a groove than a move. <laughs> yes, so I'm gonna go. Um, let's do the legs again. We'll do the counts. So it's one and two, three and four and five and six, seven and eight. You can leave it like that, or the hands will be one and two, three and four, and five and six, seven and eight. So what shapes you cut when you come down is all yours. Okay, whatever you want, whatever your vibe is, work with it, okay? So let's go from the top really slowly. Really, really slowly, so we make we, we digest it. Hip pause if you need to. Six, seven, and one. Bending this leg. Three and four. Bend this leg. Six, seven. Bend the other leg. One, two, three, four. Step out. Chest. Move. Groove in some way. It's one and two and three and four. Hip circle to the front. Five and six seven and eight, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, look at your booty three and four, and five and six, and seven and eight. All right, let's go to speed. Let's go to speed. If you're not ready to go to speed yet, rewind, pause, figure it out. Go and download the song. If you're on Spotify or iTunes, the Long Kiss Goodnight by Tribal from The Trap, okay? You can go practice it and then come back. All right, for now, let's go together from the top to speed. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and. Oh, that's not to speed at all, my bad. <laughs> Five, six, seven and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven together eight. One and two get low. Look at your booty four, five and six and seven and eight. 
Oh. Okay, yes, it's quite fast, huh? So you might want to go over it a few times before you move on <laughs> or not, I'll let you choose. Okay, so now, seven and eight, you're posing. Whatever pose you want, I don't really mind. Strike a pose, strike a pose, strike a pose, strike a pose. Strike that pose. <laughs> anyway, this leg goes onto the heel. Please don't step, yeah? It's gonna mess you up. So from here, I just put my heels down and face my leg as if I'm gonna do a hamstring stretch. Okay, so I heel. Then you're gonna come onto the back tiptoe. So I'm on my front heel, my back tiptoe, and I'm gonna swivel to face the back. So I go to the back, I'm gonna put this, this toes on the floor, keep this heel up. That all happens quite fast, okay? But, just so you see again, so after I go five and six, pose seven and eight, I'm gonna go heel, pick up my toe on this, on this foot, swivel on my heel, put my hip down, heel down, sorry, and push my hip to the side, lean away from it. This shoulder is gonna keep rotating, keep rotating, so now you face that way. And then my head is gonna go around the back, and I'm just gonna drop, and I'm gonna land on over this leg. Okay, let me show you to speed, what it's gonna look like, and then we'll go together really slowly again so you can figure out your angles. So if I have five and six, seven, seven and eight, I've got one and two and three and four. Okay, quite sassy. The choreography of the song is called The Long Kiss Goodnight. So, we're getting a bit raunchy, okay? <laughs> The choreography is called The Long Kiss Goodnight, or sorry, the music is called The Long Kiss Goodnight, so it's a bit raunchy. Okay, anyway, so let's try it again. So now we go slowly and we try to figure it out, right? So after you've done and five and six, cut your pose, cut your shape, seven, eight, put this heel on the floor, pick up the back heel, so you're on heel and toe, swivel to face the back, put this toe down, keep this heel up. Push your hip away from you, lean away from it. Now keep turning towards your shoulder, you're gonna keep turning. And you have to pivot your feet. So you have to pivot your feet somehow to get around. And when you get there, I'm gonna go around the back, half, half a head roll, basically side, back, side, drop. When you do it fluidly, it all links and you kind of maneuver through it, okay? So let's finish it on the last section. So you come here. You've tossed your hair over one shoulder and you're gonna do your ummies. Okay, so your ummies, guys, are juicy, juicy ummies. I do this in all my choreographies pretty much because I love to ummy. So side, front, side, back. And you're just circling, all right? But because of the position your body is in, you kind of, you kind of make it a little bit more wild. <laughs> a little bit more wild. So I want it to on this foot. I lean over, pop your chest out a little bit so you're not slouching, okay? And as you do it, you're gonna do your army. You can choose. My army goes side, front, side, back. I start on this hip, and I go side, front, side, back. Doesn't really matter what way you go. So for example, five and six and seven and eight. Five and six and seven and eight. Okay, enough. Let's walk it through very slowly from the top. Five, six, seven, and bend this leg. One, kiss the ring. Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Make it your own, cut some shapes. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two, roll. Three and four and five and six, seven and eight, one and two and three and four and five and six, seven together, eight, Woo. one and two, three and four, and five and six, cut shapes, cut shapes. One and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Yes? Okay, fix your hair if you need to. Okay, with my choreography, you always have to fix your hair, it's just a way of life. <laughs> All right, let's go to speed. Afterwards, when we finish it, we'll work the music up, we'll do it to the right part of the music, okay? All right, five. Six, seven to speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I lost my count. Let's do it again. My bad. Sorry. I'm not paying attention. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up we go. One and two and three and four and five and six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five and six, seven together, eight, one, booty, look at your booty, and five and six, seven, eight, we slow, two, three, drop, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes? The reason why I confuse myself is because the beginning is slow. <laughs> it's from here that it speeds up, okay? All right, let's continue then. So, five and six and seven, eight, where do we finish? Here, okay. Now we're gonna do the flowing kiss the ring. I've got many styles of kiss the ring, many versions, many variations. This foot steps out and it swivels on the ball of the foot like this. See that? I'm on tiptoe and I swivel and then I'm gonna stomp. Okay, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go swivel, stomp. At the same time, shoulder, elbow, wrist. That's my front. Shoulder, elbow, wrist. Stomp. Oh, oh, oh. Keep the belly in tight, chest lifted. And when you come around the corner, it's a little bit of an illusion, okay? So it looks way more dramatic than it really is. <laughs> it is dramatic though, right? Okay. So let's go from the right angle. So you've got seven, eight. I go one and two. There's my kiss the ring. Two. I stomp this leg in. Three and four. Okay, and then I've got five, six, and seven, and eight. Let me show you closer up what that is. Okay, so it's up, chest drop, and then up and roll down, up and roll down. Yeah. Boom, up, roll down, up, roll down. Boom, pa, up, roll down, up, roll down. The hands! <laughs> so coming back, so option one, we just do the body, and option two, you do it with the hands. So I go, baby finger, next finger, next finger, like you do the beginning, chest drop, and then up, roll down, up, roll down. This one's like a proper brain tease, like it might take you a while to, to get this, right? So one and stab I don't know why I say stab it feels like I'm uh, uh, should be like bite like a snake bite <laughs> anyway whatever makes it easy for you to remember right one and two and three and four so I go one and stab or spite bring it in up and roll down up and roll down so without the body I go one and two and then as I bring my, I drop my elbows, ha, and then I roll my wrists, ta. So, one and two, ah, da, 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 da. It might take you some practice, so hit, stop and pause, go and play a song, practice to it, because we have to try to put them together. Option one, just a body, option two, just the hands, option three, together. So it'll be, and um, five, and six, and seven, and eight, five, six, seven, and eight and five and six and seven and eight all right so that's how let's go from the last section and put it together so it's five and six and seven and eight one and two and three and four five and six and seven and eight yeah <laughs> yes okay all right let's go from the top Mark it through from the beginning just to remember the sequence. In a minute, we're going to do it from the top with music. There's like one move left, so I'll teach you that afterwards. Five, six, seven, and bend this leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three. And four and five and six, seven and eight. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven and together. One and two, three and four and five. Hair, hair, pose, pose. Turn and two and three. Hair whip. Five, six, seven, eight. Kiss the ring around the world. Five and six and seven and eight. I have to apologize because I wasn't slow. <laughs> that wasn't slow at all. And that's wrong with me today. 
<laughs> I'm not honouring myself. <laughs> Anything I say. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, you can press rewind and we'll pause and all that good stuff. Let's carry on. One move left. Um, this movement is actually from Tahitian dance, which is another style that I teach. However, we've stylized it like really differently because of because of well, coming from a trap, right? So what I want you to do is a massive circle. Bend your legs, you're in this position, classical position, and you are gonna do your hip circle needs to go towards this leg. So I'm gonna go front, side, back, side. Front, side, back, side. Front, side, back, side. In Tahitian, they call this the OPE. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but O-P-E. Okay, so front, side, back, side. Front, side, back, side. So, as I said, when we're doing it in this choreography, we're doing it like very differently for stylization purposes and stuff, okay? But this is where it comes from, this is my inspiration. Okay, so you've got front side, back side, front side, back side. Now as you go to the back, I want you to straighten this leg as much as you can, okay? So I'm going front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side. Front side, back side. All right, now as you do it, you're gonna do front side, back side, front side, back side. If it's too much, just do it on the spot, it doesn't matter, right? Front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side, front side. I'm gonna face the back and keep it helpful. A little bit, no, it needs to my feet. Okay. Six, seven, and front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side. Yes? You can press pause, rewind, figure it out. It takes a while to figure out the synchronization of that one. Okay, so you can take your time. Again, in my school, I teach you properly. We drill it, we do loads of fun games with it, we understand it, and then we really like, look really good. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So, you've got front side, back side, front side, back side, and then this foot is gonna spin. Sticky floor, be careful, maybe just step to the front, okay? Actually, step to the side. Otherwise, you're gonna do front side, back side, front side, back side, five, five, six. Spin, okay? You need a good floor for that, or at least if no friction, so socks on carpet, for example. If your floor's really sticky or you've got bad knees or you've never learned how to tan, I just suggest you just do a step, okay? Still look good. Never compromise yourself to look good. It's one of my favorite things to say, okay? So five, six, seven, go. Front side, back side, front side, back side, five, then six, tan, and then you're just gonna stomp, and come back a little bit, you're gonna stomp, not too noisy for your neighbors, please. Stomp, and as you stomp, you're gonna dip and push that hip. Push that hip, yeah? But face the front, I'm going dip and stomp. And all of the weight ends up on this leg, yeah? So like stomp. Try to cut some shapes. Now as you do it, you're gonna do the tap and grab, which I broke down significantly in my last video, which I think was, yes it was, it was Who Run The World, I can't talk today either, what's going on? Beyonce choreography, Who Run The World Girls, the choreography I taught this in much, in a lot of detail, so I'm not gonna go over it too much today, you can go and look at it in the other video. Tap and grab, basically, tap, roll, and grab. And now this is a vibe, right? It's a statement. It's a statement move rather than a move per se, so it's what you make of it, it's what you say when you do it. Tap and grab. Tap and grab, and notice I'm sitting into this hip as I grab, okay? So I'm going, tap and grab. Tap and grab. Tap and grab, okay? And if you want to, the song's not as crazy as Who Run The World, but you can add a bit of a hair flick in, or a bit of a, a little bit of a half a figure of eight. Again, there's a tutorial on my channel that talks about hair movements, and I'm in yellow costume, I'm sitting on the floor, so you can go and learn some hair movements from there and we put it together, okay? So, this is just a choreography video, just. One of my specialties, this is one of my own choreography. Two tribal from the trap, okay. Boom. So it's tap, tap, hey. And that's what I'm gonna teach you today. Okay, so let's go from the, I don't know, where should we back it up from? Let's just go from the top, okay? And then we'll do it with the music. In fact, I'm gonna turn it off so I'm not distracted by, <laughs> by the speed of the music so we can go nice and slow. All right, so take your time. So we're gonna bend this leg. You're gonna go 
one and two, and round the corner, three and four, straighten the legs, bend the legs, one and two, and three and four, make it your own, five and six, and seven and eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, make sure your weight is on this leg, you're going to do hands or no hands, the body is one and chest drop, hip roll three and four, five and six and seven and eight, I'll do no hands on this one, two on the circle, for example, no head, five, so you can see there's some variation, seven, eight, you've got one and two, three and four, and five, so you're going to push your hips forwards, and five, and flick, pose, cut some shapes, seven and eight, heel, spin, one and two, whip it three and four, five and six, seven and eight, kiss the ring, one and two, dramatic, three and four, five and six, and seven and eight. You've got one, two, three, four, five and six, and seven and eight. Yay! <laughs> Press pause and rewind if you need to. I'm gonna whack it up, and we're gonna dance it to the right part of the music. Okay, ready? Okay, get ready, perform. If <laughs> if you do this and you film yourselves, please tag me on your social media, okay? So it's Melissa, Melissa Belly Dance London on TikTok, Melissa Belly Dance on Instagram, and Melissa Belly Dance on Facebook, okay? All right, anyway, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Okay. Get ready. Dance it. yourself tag me I'd love to see it. I'd love to see you getting along please remember to hit like and subscribe and I'll be back with more tutorials and fun stuff for you Mwah. thank you very much bye bye